Good morning, folks. We've got a lot of stories to cover this morning, including Earth, the Sun, and the Cosmos. With plasma filaments gracing the limbs, we come to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star quite calm indeed. Coronal holes turning out on the south. If their solar wind streams reach north enough, they would arrive at Earth tonight. The bright spots incoming are active regions with sunspots, but thus far have not been flare producing, just teasing us as their umbral fields keep the start of the next sunspot cycle firmly in our focus. The solar wind calmed a bit more yesterday, purple plasma speed in the middle panel descending a touch, and geomagnetic conditions remain quiet this morning. It's two full days in a row. The Shivalut volcano erupted again in Russia. Ash is reported to 30,000 feet with pyroclastic flows down the mountain. Folks, we've been covering the record heat for the east while the Rockies take record cold and record snow, but many places don't know that places like El Paso have just taken a record rainfall while Arizonans just experienced the driest monsoon season on record. The extremes are more extreme and coming in closer succession. A continuing story up next, they are looking again at the unbelievably strong magnetic fields within sunspot penumbra. This is part of a suite of phenomena on our star that suggests the sun is abiding by rules slightly different than we like to model and that she has a secret. Sticking with the sun for a moment, author here is that NASA scientist who described her solar cycle 25 forecast in an informal article a few months ago. Well, here's the official manuscript with her forecast of a weaker solar cycle 25 on the horizon, one that in my opinion should be the step downward towards a grand minimum for cycle 26 or 27 thereafter. Just a quick little note here, got a link to an ancient Earth survey info bite from NASA as the flat Earth ding-dongs charge the internet once again and fail to taste the billions of debunking videos, maybe ask them to try this one. Water well shadow test proves the Earth is a sphere, just a little FYI. Up next is Enceladus. They have found new aromatic hydrocarbons and amino acid building blocks in the South Pole water jet. And when I say new, I mean new. Juno just executed a 10-hour burn maneuver to keep it from dying. It was set to spend too long in the Jovian shadow and freeze to forever silence. Not anymore. Let's go out to Andromeda and find a new examination of its collision history. Using optical and infrared, they have traced the stellar streams and dusty tails coming from the central core, and which represent yet another instance of luminous matter discovery around a galaxy that was unable to be seen before the latest technology was implemented to see them. Last but not least, there is yet more evidence from 12,000 years ago for the great catastrophe of Earth. This time, the platinum isotopes were found in southern Africa. And while a meteor is technically not a bad option to explain these, there's probably a better one. It involves what you are seeing right here, and it's likely to happen again, the Micronova. First, there are multiple impact craters from Greenland to South Africa, but there are also tons of microtectite glass beads. It's either supposed to air burst and give the beads, or impact as one and make a crater. Second, tough to find any ancient account of the catastrophe that doesn't blame the sun, and further, none specifically and only blame a falling star. Third, the known solar cycles of increasing intensity and variability link up to the 12,000 years ago range. Fourth, a micronova should include impactors, both swept up in the shockwave and, more likely, produced from the shell release of the star itself. And finally, with that being the case, the glass beads are produced in the shockwave, and the electrodynamics of the interaction is likely to produce planet-scale electrical arc discharges, which produce nothing but craters when they're done in the lab. The explanation of all of this, the sun, the disaster, the science, the evidence, all in our movie, Cosmic Disaster, linked right below the video. Especially relevant since the magnetic reversal of Earth, Canary in the coal mine, is chirping loudly. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.